Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an infinite vertical carousel. Now you can achieve this effect using the Elemental Free version or the Elemental Pro version. And I'm going to walk you step by step on how to achieve this mind-blowing effect. Now this effect comes in different use cases. And one of the use cases we're going to focus on in this tutorial. But the same principle and you can use it to achieve multiple use cases such as uh, portfolio, uh, image, uh, vertical image, carousel and all that. So at the end of this tutorial, this is what we're going to create. As you can see, this is the effect Now you can see both carousels are moving in opposite direction and smoothly. Now I'm going to walk you step by step on how to achieve this effect and provide you the code to use for free. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our elemental editing screen, what I'm going to do here is click on this plus icon here, select the flex block, and then select this structure here. I'm going to come over here, change the unit from pixel to VH, and give it the value of 100. Then I'm going to come over to the style option. For the background type, I set it to classic and give it the background color black. Then I'm going to come over here to add element and select the container widget. Then I'm going to duplicate the container widget. Okay, for reference purposes, I'm just going to call this one here the left container. And then this second one here, I'm just going to call it our right container. Okay, so for the left container, I'll come over here to the width and set it to 45%. And for the right, I'm going to set the width to 55%. Now, I'm going to go back to the left container and populate the left container with some basic design. So I'll do that real quick so this video doesn't get lengthy. Okay. Okay, so I'm done designing the, the content for the left container, which is pretty basic, as you can see here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is to design the content for the right container. So in the right container, I'm going to come over here under the layout and make sure I set the direction to row horizontal. Then I go back here to the add element and I'll click on the container and add a container within this right container. So I'm just going to click on this. Okay, so now for this container here, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to duplicate it. But before I do that, I'm going to call this one here Carousel Up. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And then for the second one, I'm going to call it Carousel Down. Okay. So now I'll come over to the first carousel. Now within this Carousel Up container, I'm going to go back here to add element and add another container within it. Now this container I've added within it, I'm going to call this one carousel okay now for the carousel i'm still going to come over here while selecting the carousel container come back here to add element and click on add another container within it now for this container i've added within it, i'm going to call it testimonials okay so now for the testimonial container i'm going to come over here to the style option for the background type i set it to classic give it a background color white then i come over here to the border now for the border radius, I'm going to give you the border radius of 15 pixel all round. Then I'm going to go to the advanced settings for the pattern. I'll give you the pattern of 15 pixel all round as well. Then I'll go back here to add element and add another container within the testimonial container. Now for this container here, it's going to be container for content. So I'm going under this container. I come here. I make sure I set the direction here to row horizontal. And then I'm going to go back here and add an uh, image within it. And then go to my media library and select an image. Okay, so I'm going to select this image here and then I'm going to go to the style option. For the width, I'm going to change the unit from pixel, from percentage to pixel, give it the value of 40 pixel. For the height, I set it to 40 pixel. Then for the object fit, I'm going to set it to cover. Then I come over here to the border radius and give it the border radius of 50 pixel or at all, and I have it rounded. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to add heading. I'm going to call this lady Jane Jenan. And then come over here for the set it to HTML tag, I set it to H3, go to the style option. Alignment, I set it to the left, typography, I come over here and then set the font size to 20 pixel. 
and then I'm going to come over here to okay, still under the typography for the font width. I'm going to set it to 600 semi bold. So, and then for the font text color, I will set it to black. Then for the container, I'm going to go to the containers layout and then make sure I set the item alignment to the center. Okay, so now we'll now have this. So, the next thing I'll do here is I'll click on this testimonial container. Now, I'll go back here and add element and search for ratings and then I click on this ratings just leave it at five star rating go to the style option for the size I set it to 17 pixel for the spacing I set the spacing to three like that then I go back here to the add element and add a uh, text editor and then I come over here make sure I set the text color to black like that and then for the font size I set it to 20 pixel which is too big. I'm going to reduce it to like, uh, let's say 14 pixel or 15 pixel is okay. Okay. So we now have something that looks like this. This is our, this is our testimonial. This is what our testimonial is going to look like. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do here, now that we've had a uh, testimonial design is I'm just going to come over here. So we'll have this testimonial and I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to duplicate it again, like four times. Okay, so this is what we'll have. This is the testimonial we'll have. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here and then I'm going to toggle this. Now I'm going to head over to my code editor where I've written down the code I'll be using to animate this particular design. Now I'm going to come over here and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add the various classes so that as soon as we add our code, it's going to take effect instantly. So the first class we're going to copy is the carousel container ops. I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to come over here to where we have this carousel up. This is the container we're talking about. And then I'm going to go to the advanced settings, come over to the CSS class, and I'm going to add this there. Then I'll go back to my code editor for the second class, which is a carousel up. I'm just going to come back here. And then I'm going to come over to this container called the carousel. Go to the advanced settings, come over to the CSS class, and I'm going to add that class there. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to add our code to animate this uh, testimonial. Now I'm going to come over here to a uh, left container. Then I click on the add element and search for the HTML tag. And then I'm going to select it. So it's going to come right below here. Now, if you're using the Elemental Pro version, all you just need to do is go to the advanced settings, come over here to the custom CSS, and then you're going to add a CSS code. Now, if you're adding the CSS code that I'll provide for you, make sure you copy from here. Do not copy from this style tag here but from here okay for those using the elemental progression we're just going to copy all this and then we're going to end it here and then we're going to go back here come over to the content and we're going to paste this here and you can see now our effect is animated however you're going to notice that the animation it will animate to a point and it will stop okay you can see now it has stopped here. So to stop this from happening, not to get this particular effect, what we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here to our right container, come over to the carousel. This carousel container, we're going to duplicate it. We're going to duplicate it again, like three times. Okay. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is just click on publish. And then we're going to click on preview. Okay. So we can see now our animated testimonial carousel so this is just going to go infinitely okay so now the next thing we're going to do we're going to do the uh the carousel for the opposite direction which is the downward direction okay so now we're going to go back here in order for us to do that what we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here and then this carousel down we're going to delete it and then we're going to duplicate this carousel up we're going to duplicate it Okay, and then rename it. Carousel up, we're going to rename it to carousel down. Then we're going to come over here and go to the advanced settings. Come over here to where we have this class here. Now we can see that this class is carousel up. Now I'm going to go back to my code editor. Now you're going to see here, what we have here is just the carousel content. We'll remove the up option and then we're going to come over here and uh, we'll paste it here. Okay, and then we're going to come over to the individual carousels, go to the advanced settings, and then we will have this carousel up. We're just going to remove this car up 
and then we'll have only carousel there. We'll come over here, do the same here, remove the up, and then for the final one, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do the same. Remove the up. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're just gonna come back here to our left container. They will have our HTML tag. You can see now that this particular container here is not animated. That the, the downward direction carousel is not animated. So to fix that, we're going to come over here to our HTML tag and then we'll come down to the bottom. And we're going to hit space here. I head over to my code editor. You don't need to worry about this code because it's going to be made available on the description of this video where you can access it and then use it. So just going to copy it, copy the code, and then head back and paste it right below. So you can see now it's not animated. Now I'll click on publish. And we can now. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. You can see now we now have our animated testimonial like that. So in order for us to have a clear picture of what is happening, take for instance you have, uh, we can just come over here and add a container at the top so we can see how it works like. It looks like if you have other contents. And it also come over here, give it a VH 100. We can change the color. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come down here to the bottom, add another container here. Set it to VH 100. Come over here, set the color here to uh, somewhat like this. Okay, so now we'll publish this. And we can now click on preview. So now when we scroll down, you can now see this is what it looks like. And you scroll it. You can see this is a wonderful effect way of stylizing your customer testimonials on your website or whatever project you're working on. Okay. So we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you find this video helpful, remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. Feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.